All right, so today's the big day. We're gonna be shooting the E63 for Tim over at Backyard Boys, as well as getting some help from Paint Society on this one. But it looks like I'm the only one here. As normal, no one's here at the moment to help me get this thing ready. So we're gonna be on the lookout for when these guys get here because they promised that we're gonna be helping get this thing prepped out so that way we can put a nice, beautiful finish on it. Paint Society, he's late again. He's trying to sneak away from doing the manual labor of this job. So just driving up here, gonna see the backyard boys and the candy man. Gonna check out what job they have and come in for the final inspection. It's what I do, I don't do any of the hard work. I just do the fine details and uh, hopefully take all the credit. I'll see you boys soon. All right, let's go see if they're here. What's up, man? You know you beat him here? I mean, I'm never late, so. All right, Brian says he's here, so let's see what's going on. What's going on, man? What are you going, boating? Uh, you know, I thought you needed a little bit of help. I was just coming off of the boat, and you needed a little help painting this Mercedes. I don't know why, but I'm gonna come help you guys out. All right, we got everybody here now, so we're gonna start getting this thing prepped out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is check over these here oe doors because these were out in the sun you guys could see that they were a little bit faded and we want to make sure that we haven't missed any dinghies on them so we're going to go ahead and wipe them down with some prep saw and check them out that way we don't have any chance of missing something on them and that's the first thing we're going to do here on the car All right, so it was a good thing we wiped them down because there is a little bit of damage right in here. You guys can see that this here has a little bit of a buckle in it. Looks like it was stressed a little bit, maybe in the transport. So we are gonna have to do a little bit of work on this here to uh, get this straightened out. But you wanna make sure you definitely double check before you get in the booth because once you're in there, it's too late. All right, so I got my chance to use my hammer that my man Brad got me. That was the PDR guy in the shop. He got me that as a gift and it fixed this door up nice. So while the job was in the shop, he was here and he went ahead and took all the dinghies out on the left-hand side. That way this car is looking clean before he headed out of town because there's a big hailstorm he was chasing. So shout out to my man Brad. All right, so we went ahead and we did 400 DA on the hood. We did the same technique, wiping it down with the prep saw because these were out in the uh, elements and they kind of hazed over. Anybody that's been around these OE parts knows that it'll haze over. You, what do you think? Yeah. Do, do they haze over in the sun? It hazes over. Yeah, it has some weird like film on it. Yeah. Yeah. So this here, I noticed there was a little spot that was a little funny going on here. I did a little bit of metal work with it and then we hit it with our waterborne primer and uh, we'll go ahead and knock that down once this cures out all the way so we've got the bumper prepped out now we've got the doors prepped out the hood we're going to go ahead and get the rest of the parts on the innovative stands and then me and uh, brian here are going to get the body of this thing prepped out and in the booth so what do you think i think we can get it done before 12 o'clock and that's in about an hour let's do it let's do it so we were getting it final prepped out and we got everything scuffed down, cleaned, ready and in the booth, but it was getting late and we want to make sure this job was going to come out nice. So we did call it quits at around 12 o'clock and uh, Backyards Boys headed out as well as Paint Society and we started fresh the next morning. All right, we're on our way to pick up Brian. That way we can get that thing cranked out. But first we're going to stop, pick up some coffees and then we'll be picking up Brian. There he is. Man, I thought you were going to pick me up in the Jetta, man. Yeah, we had to do it a little big, you know. Oh, man, this is soft. I like this, man. How was the night over there? Good? Oh, it was good, man. How are you supposed to ride in this car like this? Oh, yeah. Like, Lean back. Slash back like this? All right, I like this. All right, let's do it. All right. All right, so we've got the job all ready to go. It's all wiped down. We did our prep saw, our waterborne. Everything is sealed up nice. We have our spray out and we're gonna be getting this thing shot now. So first thing we're gonna do is blow and tack it. And uh, you guys see, I changed out the filters on the booth. That way this thing is gonna be flowing nice. So we wanna get the nicest, cleanest job and 
once the filters are fresh you get the best flow rate with the uh, booth so we're ready to go we're going to hit it with the ecs sealer and then we're going to move into the water base and this code is 992 mercedes-benz so let's do it All right, guys, that was definitely a hot day and that was definitely a big job. So the job came out really, really nice. You guys can see that. And me and Brian pulled this one off. Tim's gonna be ecstatic with it, I'm sure. The color looks good. The clear looks perfect with the OEM texture and uh, nothing could be better about it as far as I'm concerned. So this thing will get picked up by Tim. He'll be building it. And I'm sure you guys will see his video of it all finished up after he does his magic. So 
I appreciate you guys watching this one. I got my man Brian here. Yeah, guys, just finished painting it. I hope you guys really like the work that I did over here. Make sure you check out uh, my channel. We're going to see the full paint job. No, I'm just kidding. I let the man paint his car in his house. He did it. He knocked it out of, out of the house. Awesome job. <laughs> All right, guys. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>